Hi, sweets. I hope you're doing great and having a wonderful week or actually wonderful Valentine's week. If you're going to celebrate it, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you are not, I hope as well that this week would be perfect for you. Really looking forward to do this video because I ordered the new Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe Volume 2. I already have Volume 1 and I got a Volume 2. This is a brand owned by a Latina woman. In social media, she goes by Gabby T. Moi. She is established in Miami, but she was born in Cuba. And she also is a makeup artist. And she has developed two eyeshadow palettes and two brush trio sets. I own the four products that she had launched. And the last one that I was looking forward to get, it, it was this palette with the trio set. The only way that you can get her products is through her website, is alamarcosmetics.com. The price is, is kind of okay. It is $28 for the palette. It has eight eyeshadows and $18 for the brush set. This is how the palette comes. The first one was yellow, this one is blue. And also in the first palette, she didn't include a mirror. And with this one, she did. This is how the palette looks in the inside. Both palettes have the same layout. And what I mean by layout is that the first four shades are metallics and the last four one are mattes. She perfected the formula in the second palette. I haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna try it for the first time with you guys. My first experience with the first palette was extremely good. I was really looking forward for what she has to offer next. So I was really excited when she came with the second one. The same goes for the brushes. This is the volume two brush set and this is volume one. As you can see, I have used mine. They are really good quality. And the second set, she changed the handle color. They're really, really soft. And I'm gonna use the brushes of the line, obviously. I have done my entire complexion. I'm gonna do a look. I'm going to apply an eyeshadow primer because I always do this with every look that I'm going to do is either an eyeshadow primer or a little bit of foundation or concealer. Either way, I always use a, a cream base. She also said that she tried to be very different for what you would normally use as a transition shade. And she was writing her statement because the transition shades that she developed in this palette are this pink and this yellow shade. I think I'm gonna start with Flamingo, is this rose shade, and I'm not into pink. Let me just get that out of the way. It has a little bit of kickback in the pan, but since it is a matte shade and has a lot of pigment, it doesn't come as a surprise. I'm gonna use one of the blending brushes from the volume one and I'm gonna start applying this shadow above my natural crease and I'm gonna work it into my inner corner as well. I'm doing this in circular motions as always and this brush helps a lot to apply this because he is really soft. And as you can see, I only have taken from the pan once and this is totally fine, the opacity that has. But still, I'm gonna darken it a little bit more. So I'm taking a second time from the pen, tapping away the excess of it, and reapplying where I have shadow or already. And I'm going to extend it a little bit towards the tail of my eyebrow. And if you haven't noticed, I'm holding my brush from the end of the handle. And that will help me have a really nice and seamless blending of my shadow. Now I'm going to use one of the brushes of the new collection. And I think I'm going to go for Rumbera but I'm gonna use it dry instead of wet. 
This one doesn't have any fallout, nothing. I will try to be a little more precise because this one, I want it to be exactly in my crease. So I will try my best to be as precise as this brush will, would allow me to be. So I'm doing this in really small steps. I'm taking a lot of precaution where I'm placing this shadow. This one is so, so good because I don't even, I'm not even in the need of blending it. She does or she is doing everything by herself. And I'm going to tilt my head a little bit backwards and um, this is going to help me have a little bit more access to the area where I want to place this eyeshadow. And as I said, it's going to be exactly where my crease is and a little bit higher than her. And I, I'm not in the need of blending this eyeshadow because she is so good. You apply it and you brush it a little bit and that's everything you need to do. Now I'm going to cut my crease and I'm going to use the same concealer that I use for doing my complexion and I'm going to use my favorite brush for cutting the crease and it doesn't come as a surprise or it shouldn't come as a surprise that is her brush. It is from the volume one. It is the, the round application brush. You can use this either for your concealer or for this or for your lips. I have used it for all of the above and he has done a wonderful job in each of them. So now I'm taking a little bit of concealer and now for the fun part, which is holding my breath and um, making sure that I do this correctly. First, I start by stamping where I want it to be. And I always do my cut crease a little bit higher than my natural crease because I have hooded eyes and I can't use my natural crease because my eyes will look like a set sound. I have done my tail. And now I'm gonna go for the rest of my crease. And I'm not gonna do an entire cut crease. I'm gonna do kind of a three thirds of a cut crease. I have another video do doing this same technique which I'm gonna link down below and I'm gonna link the other one that I use the Alam, the Alamar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe Volume 1 for you can watch that one as well. Now I'm cleaning the edges to make sure that all of them are sharp and as crisp as they can be. And now I'm going to apply the concealer in the rest of my mobile lead. Now with my ring finger, I'm gonna blend this area near my inner corner. Now I'm gonna do my other eye and we are gonna come back. Now I'm gonna use again Rumbera with the same brush and I'm gonna touch up a little bit my inner corner. Because, because I want that color to show a little bit more here. And with my finger, I'm gonna give it a little bit of tappings so it would blend better. Now I'm gonna go for my bottom part and I think I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna use the all over brush and I'm gonna go with Mambo and I'm gonna apply it to the half 
of my bottom lashes. I'm gonna pinch the brush so it's going to turn into a flat brush and I'm going to brush it from my ending part towards the middle of my bottom lashes. There. I'm going to reapply a little bit more again. As I said, from the ending part of my eye towards the middle of it. Now I'm gonna use the flat brush from volume one and I'm gonna go to Damas, this brown shade here. And this one, I'm only going to apply it exactly on top of my bottom lashes in the ending third of my eye. And now I'm gonna use the pencil brush from this collection and I'm gonna go to Tumbao. This one, I'm going to apply it in the rest of my bottom lashes towards my inner corner. I really like this brush, it's helping me to be really precise. And now I'm gonna go for the last one that I'm gonna use, which is Azúcar. And this one, I'm going to apply it in my inner corner. And I'm gonna apply it a little bit in the beginning part of my top lashes. I'm gonna blend it towards the eyeshadows that I have in this area. So it's kind of open it up to the other ones. I'm gonna apply highlighter and I'm going to use the first palette for that because I really like one of the shades there. The shade name is La Costa, this rosy one here. I'm going to use the blending brush from this collection. I'm going to lightly apply it on the top of my cheekbone. In the beginning of my bridge, in the flat area of my nose, also in my cupid's bow, in exactly the border of my lip. I'm not gonna do a liner, so I'm gonna curl my lashes, apply mascara, and I'm gonna apply falsies. For lashes, I'm gonna use my Azaredo Cosmetics Lash Collection, and I'm gonna use the third style doll. And then you're gonna come back to do the lips and wrap up this video. Lashes are done and I'm really liking my eyes so far. So for lips, I'm gonna go with my Wet n Wild Never Nude. This is from the Mega Last Collection. And I'm gonna use another thing on top of them. I'm gonna start as always with my Cupid's bow. Now my sides. Bottom for the center. And now my sides. And to make it go a little bit better with the look that I'm going for, I'm gonna use the Tottie's Lip Paint. This is in the shade Flaming Hot. So sweets, this is it, this is the final look. I love my entire makeup. It doesn't come as a surprise that I really like the Reina del Caribe Volume 2 palette and I and also I really like the brushes that she came with for this palette. Everything that this palette claims to do, it does. I only did one eye look, but I'm gonna keep on doing another ones and probably I would do the tutorials for a couple of more looks using this palette and maybe I'm gonna do another one using the two in conjunction. So I'm really looking forward to that. I hope you like it, and if you did, press the like button. Remember to do that. That is really, really, really important to do because it will help me be exposed, and also it will let me know if you like it or not what I'm doing for you guys. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. Also, if you want to get notified every time I upload a video, press the notifications bell, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.